Ah, oh, injuries. We hate them, don't we? But you know what? If you're going to bowl fast and try to bowl over 150 k's, unfortunately, it's going to happen. But today, I'm going to show you the best way to stay injury free. Well, the do's and don'ts of injury. How do you stay injury free? prevent injury, whatever word you want to use or term. Today I'm taking a little journey on what I've learnt and ways to stay injury free. Firstly, you often see guys and girls, and particularly guys when they get to the age of 15, 16, 17, they might be making the grades like Ramsey Trophy or Sheffield Shield, and straight away the coach or the fitness coach would often say, bulk up, get strong, get that frame nice and tough. And what we found over the years were a lot of bowlers lifting heavy weights like squats, um, leg press, body weights, bench press, bicep curls, those types of things. Now, I want to make it very clear that I think gym is very, very important. However, lean muscle mass, if you want to bowl over 150 k's, for me, is definitely the key. And what I mean by that is don't be lifting hard, heavy weights. So when you lift heavy weights, it's slow, it's a slow action. When you bowl fast, or try to bowl fast, it's what they call it's those fast twitch fibers. You've got to be able to run. You have to be able to sprint. So the things I used to be able to do was to make sure I do a lot of soft sand running. It take all the impact off my ankles and my knees and my back. And then I'll then supplement that after I've got the, the, the miles in the body. I'll then go into grass and run on grass because it was better for my body. And you felt like you're running in super quick. So do all the hard work on the sand first, then transfer to grass. Um, once you are not too bulky, whether putting on weight or whether it's, it's that muscle mass, because you've got to think too, every kilogram that you carry extra is the force going through your front foot. I've probably said it a million times, but when bowlers bowled, they were like two times their body weight. So if you weigh 90 kilos, they were close to 200 kilos, 180 kilos going through their front ankle. Me, I was 16 times my body weight. And that's the reason why I had six ankle operations, but it's also the reason why I was able to bowl fast because of the pressure and the power, a bit like a pole vaulter getting through and getting over that action. When it comes to ice baths, overrated. There's no scientific proof in my opinion that they work. They're great over here in India or on in the subcontinent to drop your core temperature. But if someone out there wants to show me a paper on ice baths, if they could prove it flushes out the lactic acid, Bring it on. I reckon it's rubbish, but that's for another part of the story. Uh, injury prevention, warm down, warm up. We hear these terms, what does that mean? Now, warm ups used to take two hours. I think it's overrated warm ups if they take too long. The warm up, the whole principle of warming up is getting a nice little sweat on, getting your body nice and loose. So start with a couple laps, jogging around the oval, laps 50%, 70%. Do a couple leg swings. Get your body nice and limber up. You know, do some, some back extensions, do some heel kicks, do that type of stuff, and then go into your stretching. Never ever stretch a cold muscle. That's the first thing you should learn as an athlete or a wannabe athlete. Never stretch a cold muscle because that is the best way for your muscles to tear. So if you look after your warm ups and your warm downs, you should almost mirror each other. You don't bulk up. The last two things, now listen very carefully because it's so important. Sleep, hydration. I would give away warm downs and probably warm ups in order to get eight hours sleep a night. If you're getting four hours sleep a night or three hours sleep a night and you're not hydrated, so you're dehydrated constantly, then your chance of getting injured is so much greater and obviously your brain can't think clearly. So keep your hydration up. Keep your fluids up, whether it's electrolytes and water, substitute the both. That's the best way to stay on top of things. So light muscle mass, hydration, plenty of sleep, warm up, warm down, keep it simple.